Eagles have set a NFL record with 38 rushing touchdowns, if I'm not mistaken, on the season. I just try to keep stats in my head for y'all and random occasions. Okay. Shady, incredibly impressive runs by both quarterbacks. You played with Patrick Mahomes, but you quite literally bleed Eagles green. You're the Eagles all-time rushing leader. I say it casually, but that's a huge deal for y'all at home. Mahomes, without Tyreek Hill, gets back to the Super Bowl. Right. Jalen Hurts has one of the best runs we've ever seen out of an Eagles quarterback. 16-1 and one as a starter. Two blowout playoff wins. Both incredibly impressive runs. But now they meet in the ultimate game of all sports. Whose playoff run was more impressive? Was it Mahomes or was it Hurts? Uh, I didn't mean to do this to you. I didn't mean to do this <laughs> to you. But you are. I know. I'm sorry. All right, all right America, let me say I'm the sorry. truth. Keep it real, Shady. I'm going to keep it real. It's a game time decision. <laughs> Listen, you talk about Patrick Mahomes beating the Bengals, a complete Bengals team, right, with, with, with three of his starting wide receivers hurt? Then on the defense, starting linebacker out, starting cornerback out. Still ball, still beating Joe Burrow in the AFC Championship game. Like, that's been unbelievable. And then the biggest part, I got to talk about this, with, with the Chiefs, when I got there in, in 2019, they, they, now the year before that, you know, Pat was going crazy. But everything was vertical. Everything was speed and everything's vertical. Then you lose Tyreek Hill. And you still balling. You still winning. You back to the Super Bowl. I, if, if somebody told me the Chiefs would be back in the Super Bowl, I would have said, well, I don't think so. It's a chance. Yeah, of course. Andy Reid, Patrick Mahomes, Charles Kelsey, Chris Jones. But I don't see it. Lose Tyreek Hill? Come on. Then with the Eagles. Did, you, did y'all see that first playoff game against uh, um, the Eagles versus the Bucks? Yeah, last year. That was crazy. Jalen Hurst played terrible. Yep. And then you see him this year, 16 and 1. Yeah. He was balling. He looked like a, a whole new person. Yeah. So if you're asking me, Whose run was better? It's a game time this shit. And I got and AJ's gonna be mad at me for saying this. He's a it's producer. A producer yeah. But hey, I, I was being honest. It's, it's too hard to pick. Ooh. You know what I'll do? Since you're talking about pressure last segment, I'll put the pressure on them. <laughs> Y'all gotta tell me. Y'all tell us. <laughs> Joy, let me come to you on this one. There are obviously no wrong answers, so I will couch it so Joy and Dave do not have to couch it. We love them both, both incredible quarterbacks, first team, second team, all pro. No wrong answer, but in your humble opinion, who had the more impressive run? I think it's Jalen Hurts, because I we all expected to see Patrick Mahomes in another Super Bowl in his career. Of course. Maybe we had questions about what their offense would look like without Tyreek Hill, but still expected them to be good and competitive. And it is, after all, Patrick Mahomes. Yep. He is, as the ch- children say, him. But Jalen Hurts, we didn't even know if he was going to be a franchise quarterback coming into this mm-hmm. season. Mm-hmm. There were a lot of questions. I mean, every week there's no questions. Every week, even now, is it really Jalen? Is it really the team? Oh, he didn't play that well. Maybe it was the defense. He's 16 and one as a starter. Only him and Dan Marino are the th- only to lead only quarterbacks to lead their team to 16 wins in a season before turning 25 years old. He's in rare air. He was an MVP finalist this year. And we know that because we saw the Eagles without him, and they were terrible. They were bad. The offense did not look the same at all. He's an all-pro. So, to me, to have that kind of turnaround, to take the offseason as seriously as he obviously did, and I think that tells you what kind of a player and competitor he is, to come this year and have this run, it really is very impressive. And it validated how good they were during the regular season that they performed the way that they have in the postseason. It's funny, Joy kind of took my breath away when I realized that's where she was going with this. No. People oh. say she does that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People do Bril- say brilliant. Yes, people brilliant. do brilliant. Say she does that. <laughs> Because, like, before the season, I, it made me realize a little bit of hypocrisy, I guess, because before the season, I said, Jalen Hurts is facing all this pressure because we don't know if he's a franchise guy. He's the only thing in the Eagles' way from making a Super Bowl run. Whereas, I, I mean, I picked the Chiefs to win the Super Bowl ahead of time. So, uh, clearly, I believed in Patrick Mahomes. So, it feels a little hypocritical to say Jalen's got this, that, and the other to prove and still be less impressed. But having said that, <laughs> Patrick Mahomes has carried this team to this point. And it's not yeah. to take anything away from Jalen Hurts, but they built this amazing team. I mean, they're the second best defense in the league. They've got these amazing receivers. They got the best line in football. It's not to say, uh, clearly, Jalen is a huge, huge part of it. We know that because he missed time. But then you look at Mahomes. Eagles are number two in defense. Oh, Chiefs aren't even – I mean, they're, they're, they're not in the same category. They don't have as many – they got Chris Jones. They don't have as many guys all over the defense. They lost their running back. They lost Tyreek Hill. They've got a seventh-round rookie, Isaiah Pacheco, starting for him. He's making do with 18 different receivers. They lose six guys in the, in the AFC Championship game. Like, 
nobody's doing, nobody has done more with less this season than Patrick Mahomes. And that's been the case all year. So I wish I, I wish I had sat on the fence like you, Shady, because they're both, <laughs> they're both very deserving. But when I just, when you look at what each guy is working with, I, I think it's Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, it's almost like you don't knock somebody for having talent around no, them. No, it's not Jalen's fault. what you fault. can do is excessively praise and promote the person who got to the same destination yep. without the talent around them. Immense talent by both of these quarterbacks. Mahomes, first-team All-Pro. Jalen Hurts, second-team All-Pro. They have both been studs. There is no wrong answer. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak, and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.